Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and I want to share my story with you. I hope that my story will help give you some motivation, so you can find the strength to get out of tough situations, particularly if you're suffering from obesity. When I was a kid, I was just the same as everyone else. I ran around, jumped around, didn't want oatmeal for breakfast, went to kindergarten, and was completely happy. Like all children, I loved candy and sweets, but I never made food out to be more special than it was. If there was food, great. If not, we would be fine. Moreover, raspberries and strawberries in the neighboring forest were worth a million factory candies each, and getting them was a whole adventure in itself. But when I was nine years old, a tragedy happened in our family. My really sick mom passed away. Dad lived through the tragedy with the bottle, and my grandmas were more and more concerned about whether I was eating well or not, making sure I was never ever hungry. So they mm -hmm. always fed me the second they saw me. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't really against eating so much either. Eating my worries away, and it was working. Those who grew up with grandmas should know this thing they have. They always cook a lot of delicious food, and always try to feed their grandsons all of it with all their might. So there were never any problems finding something to chew on in our fridge. So I chewed just about anything that I could lay my hands on. I really ate a lot and gained weight quickly. One day, Dad asked Grandma about my weight, but she just said that it was me hitting puberty, and I'll get a growth spurt and it'll even out. But she didn't mention that her 10-year-old grandson ate 8 times a day and snacked in between. By 13, I understood that my obesity was a problem. I decided to start fighting it with my own strength. I tried going on diets, but it didn't work and the weight always came back. And I really wasn't patient enough. I always wanted instant gratification. So I found some weight loss pills on the internet and decided to try the extreme. Well, the funny thing is that my 13-year-old self got the pills with no questions asked. Maybe because of my weight I looked older or the pharmacist just didn't care. I don't know, but that doesn't matter. The important thing is, after the pills, I started losing weight quickly and I didn't want to eat, so I managed to be fine with smaller portions. In just one month, I lost a record 11 pounds. But the second I ran out of pills, all the weight came back in a week. Soon, it surpassed the 260 pound mark, and I couldn't even weigh myself at home because the balance didn't go over 260 pounds. Beyond that, they glitched out and I had to go to the local hospital to check in and check up. What was much worse was that my appetite grew, exponentially. Now I ate all the time, without stopping. I snacked all the time, even during lessons. When teachers got mad at me, I started hiding in the toilet and in the broom closet, and not on sandwiches, chocolates, and anything I could get my hands on with my pocket money. I became eternally fat with stains on my shirts, my heartache, and I was always out of breath. That's how I turned 14, at 330 pounds. And to be honest, it was disgusting to me most of all, let alone the others. So dad raised the alarm. He personally forbade my grandmas from feeding me or giving me allowances for food, and then sent me to some kind of specialist. The specialist told me that I use food as an escape from reality, and sent me a whole bunch of activities to do to lose weight. It had everything. Dieting, exercise and sports, even psychologist visits. My weight problem was obviously also a mental thing, not only physical. In just two months, with the help of the recommendations, I was able to lose 35 pounds. That was just a spoonful in the sea of course, but for me, an achievement nevertheless. I'm still following the recommendations, doing sports, and I believe that I will eventually overcome my troubles. The problem isn't even how I look on the outside, though the idea of getting a girlfriend did already go through my mind. But it's my health and feeling that my joints are aching, that it's hard to go upstairs, even those with just three steps, and how my heart aches at 14 years old, it's not normal. Every day, I thank my doctor, who helped me get better, because now my dream is to become a pilot and fly around the world, seeing dozens of countries and filling up on reality. This is now the goal that I'm aiming for. It's true that I still have a lot of work to overcome, including a fear of heights, and to work on my body a lot more. But the important thing is, I have a dream. You know, if you have something that you want more than anything in the world, a real dream that you can strive towards, you can overcome anything that stands in your way to get there. At least in my eyes, that's how it goes. So dear friends, find yourself a goal and walk towards it. And then every obstacle that stands in your way won't stop you. And don't forget to support me with a like, which will really help my motivation.
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe down below, clicking on the bell notifications. If you want your story to be told, send an email to the address appearing below.